Pleasant morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Trying to Bigger Police Service weekly media briefing for Wednesday, 11th June 2019. I'm Wayne Meister, Acting Superintendent, Public Information Officer of the TTPS. And together with me, we have Sergeant Christopher Swamba, and he's a sergeant at the Stolen Vehicles Unit of the Trying to Bigger Police Service. Um, Mr. Swamba is going to give us some information as it relates to the aspect of vehicles being stolen and the whole aspect of safety tips as to how to keep your vehicle safe as you go along. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has noted a reduction in the number of motor vehicles, larceny and robbery throughout the country for the period January 1st to May 31st, 2019. For this period under review, there were 300 reports of stolen vehicles comprising larcenies and robberies in 2019, compared to 411 in 2018, which shows an overall decrease in the total number of stolen vehicles by 21%. Reports of larceny motor vehicle offenses for the period under review decreased by 31%. As there were 168 recorded reports in 2019 compared to 244 reports in 2017. For reports of motor vehicle robberies, there were also a decrease of 20%, as there were 132 such recorded in 2019, compared to 167 committed. in 2018. Vehicles most targeted by criminals during the period January 1st, 2019 to May 31st, 2019 were of Nissan, Kia, Toyota, and Hyundai make and models. Of the 300 vehicles reported stolen by larceny or robbery up until May 31st, 2019, 60 one Nissan, which represents 20% of the total figure. The preferred choice were the Nissan B14, 14, Almira 3, AD Wagon 10, B13, 5, Tida 14, B15, 5, Wing Road 4, Navarra 1, and x 4. The Northern, Southern, and Central Division recorded the highest number of robberies and larceny of motor vehicle for the period January 1st to May 31st, 2019, with 72, 68, and 51 reports, respectively. Motor vehicle owners are therefore strongly advised to exercise extreme caution when in these areas. A total of 43 persons were either arrested or charged for motor vehicle and larceny for the period under review. We would prefer there is no robbery and theft of motor vehicles. However, when these crimes occur, we hope that our detection of these offenses would be a deterrent to the offenders. After the drug trade, larceny and robbery of motor vehicles is the next biggest organized crime in Trinidad and Tobago. Within the past few months, we have noted an increased trend of criminals targeting brand new motor vehicles, especially the Hyundai Tucson, the Nissan X-Trail, and the Kia Sportage. Many of these vehicles are bought with a warranty which prevents their owners from installing anti-theft or GPS devices in their vehicles. It is advised that owners should consider installing wireless GPS devices to avoid any problems with the dealer and their warranty. New car owners are therefore advised to return to the company and inform them of the desire to install anti-theft devices. 
to secure their vehicle during the warranty period. Vehicle owners are also warned against using their vehicles as collateral for loans from motor from money lenders. You risk losing the vehicle for which you are still indebted to a recognized financial institution. Furthermore, do not leave your vehicles with strangers, as you can find that there are unscrupulous persons out there who will conduct an authorized transaction with the vehicle. As far as possible, do not walk with large sums of cash to purchase vehicle which are advertised online or in the newspaper classified. Always seek a secure method of payment through a bank or meet with the seller of the vehicle at a safe location. Potential buyers run the risk of being robbed of the cash when they arrive at the agreed meeting point. Finally, it is advised that vehicle owners who have had devices installed, such as the GPS, in their vehicles by any of the many companies now engaged in this service, visit the company at least once per month and have the technician activate the GPS tracking system to verify the device that the systems are both in working order. Increasingly, we are finding that companies are unable to activate the tracking device in a timely manner when a vehicle is stolen, giving criminals sufficient time to find and disconnect the GPS devices. The decrease in larceny and robberies of motor vehicles thus far for the year is not a reason for vehicle owners to become complacent in securing their property and practicing safe habits which make your vehicle a hard target for criminals.